Hey, it's John. Today I've got a script that I've written in Python for Maya which will help people using Redshift to offset colors. The issue we have with Redshift is we don't have a node that will offset colors. Like in Arnold you have a node called the AI Color Jitter and that's amazing. I don't know why we don't have one but we have to have workarounds. So what I've done is I've created a script to generate random attributes on each object and you can use those as with the user data node to offset the colors. Right, that sounded complicated, but it's actually not that complicated at all. I'm gonna show you how to use this. But first of all, if you actually wanted to do this without the script, what you'd do is you'd select the objects you want and you'd manually add an attribute and go through all this faff to get it done. But this script saves all of the headache and it's a neat little window you can use. Hi, John from the future. I just wanted to really quickly show you how to install this if you don't know how to install it. It's really, really easy. So you have your script here, right? Go to the little box in the bottom right, it'll open up your script editor, create a new Python script, drag and drop the script in here, control A, select it all, go to your tab, you want to save this in, I'm currently in custom, middle mouse click and drag, it will then add it to your shelf. So then you can go in here, go to shelves, you can rename this to whatever you want, change that. You can add the tooltip here, tooltip, so when you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you what it does, and then the icon label. Then you can also play around with these colors, adjust it, make it look pretty, whatever you would like to do. And then just to launch it, you just click on it there. Easy. Back to the video. So what you want to do is select your objects, create attributes forward slash randomize, and it'll just generate a bunch of attributes on every selected item. The hue, saturation, and gamma, they'll come in at zero. And then if you select randomize, it'll randomize the values for you. And those values are based on what you have in these text fields. So the minimum hue will only go to minus 180 and the maximum hue will only go to 180. So you get the full 360 range of the hue and you won't break the tool. So let's put that to something I know, like minus 60 for this example, positive 60. Same with the hue and saturation. Um, let's just make it quite extreme so we can uh, definitely see a big difference here. With the check boxes on the left, if you notice those, what they do is when you press randomize, it will only randomize what's selected. So if you just want to randomize the hue, you could press that. And as you can see here, only the hue will randomize. If you want to reselect all the objects that have these attributes on them, you can select objects with attributes. And if you want to remove them, you just press remove and it'll remove all the attributes from these items. So let's add this back, do a couple of randomizations. And I haven't actually connected this up yet so I can show you where it looks like before. Right, if we do a quick render, you can see this is what we're getting. And a good example of where you could use this is if you had a bunch of fruit in a little fruit stand. Instead of having the same repetitive apple, you could offset the colors and saturation a bit of multiple different apples and it'll make it look a bit more realistic. If we go into the settings here, you can see I've already set it up, but it's super simple and easy to set up. All you need to do is have your redshift material. I've plugged in a color correction node here and I've just plugged my image through the input. That's given us this result like this right now. All you need to do is create a user data scala like this. I've already created three. And they simply just take in the name hue, saturation, and gamma. If you plug these into the correct places, so hue into hue, saturation into saturation, gamma into gamma, you will see now that these values that we plugged in will be getting offset now by each unique value on every object. So if we look at the render now, you can see the colors are changing. If we select those objects again, randomize, let's say just randomize the hue. You can see it's randomizing the hue of this script is free to download. You can go to my art station and download it. Please let me know if there's any issues or anything to be improved, I'd really appreciate that. And that pretty much covers the video on these random colors. That's all for now, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.